Jay White and Commander. You know who this, this match, match was? This match was great. This match was great. I don't know if I would say this match was great. I would. I absolutely this would say match this match was weird, is what it was. Because you had Jay White doing a Jay White match, and you had Commander, who was determined to do all of his, his high spots. And uh, it, early on, it was a little bit sloppy. He ended up getting everything. They built to the rope block. Well, I, 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 will say, I, will, I will say that, that Jay White, in like two spots, saved what would have been botches that Commander would have made. But he saved them so they were, they didn't end up being botches. So Jay White's great. Jay White was great here. I thought what the, the key to the match was is that, you know, Commander kind of does, like, you know, the big thing is the rope walk. And he does it over and over and over again because that's his cool thing. And with Jay White, Jay White would only let him do, only let it do the real big rope walk spot once. So it meant more and, you know, kind of paced it much better. I thought Jay White did a, did like a great, great job with him. And Commander looked great in not winning, you know, got some good near falls and, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, at some point, Commander's got to get some wins. I mean, they see he signed, which was another big one, because obviously WWE wanted him, and he is a guy who has got some very unique talent that's a big crowd leader. When he did his moves, I mean, he was pretty over for, for a guy who's, again, for a guy who has never won a television match in AW, he was remarkably over, because, you know, people are into his tricks.